G'day Ziggy D here with a bit of a gaming discussion video for you guys today. So recently Blizzard announced that there were going to be some significant changes to gameplay mechanics in Diablo 3 where they would be uh, removing lifesteal and changing the way health and life and healing and things like that work in the game. Uh, the main reason for this is that they want to make the combat more meaningful and tactical. They want your health pool to matter and uh, actually, you know, you have to approach combat with a little bit of thought. Which is, you know, pretty pretty admirable, pretty admirable. And ever since this annou announcement, I've been thinking about the way uh, health and healing are managed in the different RPGs I play. So I've been playing a lot of Final Fantasy VII, I've been playing some Baldur's Gate, I've been playing some tabletop RPGs as well, and I've also been playing some Diablo III and other action RPGs as well. I've been thinking about all of these different games and how they compare together. So, let's talk about Diablo III for a little bit first. The current meta for combat in Diablo III is that you get enough health to survive one to two shots, and then uh, pretty much you stack lifesteal to be able to heal yourself back up to full almost instantaneously, and that's the way lifesteal currently functions in the game. We have enough damage compared to lifesteal to make that make it quite easy to heal from almost empty to uh, completely full in you know a, a split second, in a quarter of a second, that sort of thing. So uh, Wyatt Chang recently made a post on the Diablo forums uh, talking about why this is a problem. I'll link to that in the description below, you can check it out, it's very interesting, gives some insight into uh, what Blizzard are planning for Diablo 3. But the short of it is that a health pool that quickly goes from near empty to full means that there's not a lot of room for variance in incoming damage. So they can't tone things up too much more or you're going to get one shot, and if they tone things down too much more, uh, you're never going to be in any sort of risk, you're never going to be in any sort of danger. The next thing was that smaller damage sources become irrelevant when you can heal yourself to full instantly. Things like standing in Plagued and Molten and taking small hits from smaller enemies uh, really don't matter because you can just heal that stuff instantly, there's no threat to you, you're never going to die, and that's the same sort of idea as that variance in incoming damage. Next up, the game becomes designed around one shots. so it's like uh, if you are getting one shot, you need to change your gear to not be one shot, and the game has to be balanced around that. And uh, you lose a lot of tactical opportunities, so things like avoiding certain incoming damage, uh, avoiding you know damage over time effects, and changing your positioning in combat, and how you go about healing and things like that, become you know, irrelevant when you can heal yourself to full instantly. And then finally, the current state of your health loses all meaning as well. Being at 45% health should represent that you're at a fair bit of risk at the moment. I have under half my health, I'm in danger. But when you can heal yourself instantly, 45% health is no different to 95% health, or 100% health, or 1% health really. Maybe 1% health is a little bit extra risky, but uh, in general, the actual amount of health that you have currently is kind of not really that meaningful. So. Those last two points I think are really important, that you lose a lot of tactical opportunities and the current state of your health really doesn't matter. So Diablo 2 did have similar problems to this to be fair, uh, people like to hold up Diablo 2 as the far superior game to Diablo 3, but it had a potion chugging marathon metagame going on and uh, it still had the same sort of problems around health. Uh, the amount of health that you had really wasn't that significant in Diablo 2, that sort of leveling, it was a little bit better I think, but uh, for the most part, you were just chugging potions all the time and keeping your, your health at full, and you were either dead or at full health. So, let's compare this to some other RPGs. One that I've been playing a fair bit of recently is Final Fantasy VII. Uh, in Final Fantasy VII, your health is, in general, especially while leveling, is managed over a longer period of time. You have something like, you know, 500 hit points, and uh, you do a couple of fights, you take some damage in those fights, and then you have to either decide, am I going to use some potions in between combat to make sure I can go into the next battle, which could be dangerous uh, with full life, or do I want to use some of my potions in combat, uh, or do I want to use some of my magic to cure and to you know to cure myself uh, at the cost of uh, very important magic power, your MP. So uh, you have a fair bit of decisions there, and it's something you manage over a much longer period of time. At end game, this becomes a little bit less relevant because you get a lot of gill and you can buy a lot of potions and all that sort of jazz, and uh, it becomes a little bit less of a problem. However, your health is still meaningful in terms of in a single battle. Uh, you still have to manage your health over time in that battle. You have to think about when I'm going to heal, how much I'm going to heal, and more importantly, how I'm going to uh, mitigate or in avoid incoming damage. Because if I'm taking too much damage over time, I'm going to be healing myself all the time, and I'm still eventually going to run out of resources, going to run out of MP or things like that, and uh, end up dying or, you know, having to restart the fight or something like that, or fights just become too costly. So this is pretty interesting stuff. Baldur's Gate and other D&D style games, especially the tabletop D&D games as well, uh, your HP, your health, 
for your characters is extremely important. When you first start the game, you might have something between like 5 to 10 hit points, and uh, even when you get up to like 20 or 30 hit points, being at like 15 out of 30 hit points is extremely significant. Uh, that represents a big danger, and you seriously have to think about, okay, how am I going to use my resources to heal myself before I move into the next battle? Because being at half-life represents a significant danger to the life of my character, and often in D&D style games, when your character dies, that's it. So, you dead. there's no instant resurrection or anything like that, so you really have to significantly think about how you heal that. But more importantly, you also have to significantly think about how am I going to mitigate every form of damage possible to reduce the amount of damage I'm taking. You know, things like potions and healing spells uh, are very, very limited in D&D style games, generally speaking. Uh, you know, this obviously as you get richer and richer becomes less of a problem, but in general, you, these resources are limited, and when you can use them is limited. And uh, if you find yourself running out of healing potions and your priest is out of healing spells and you're in a dangerous situation where if you camp out you might be attacked in the night, then uh, you've probably, you know, you've probably gone wrong. You weren't mitigating enough incoming damage. You weren't avoiding enough incoming damage. So you have to play much more tactically, uh, you have to play much more carefully, you have to think about your health more. And if you do happen to move into a fight with half health or 60% health or, you know, even just with a little bit of health off the top of your characters, you still have to think about that fact and uh, play accordingly. If you are, you know, low on resources and low on life, you have to approach each combat instance much, much more carefully. So this is pretty interesting stuff. So it's pretty easy to see how meaningful and uh, in uh, the depth of combat in these sorts of games where health is really, really important and healing is scarce. So some of the data mine changes for Reaper of Souls in Diablo 3 show that lifesteal is being removed and a lot of skills are being changed to change over from using lifesteal to uh, healing a percentage of your health and usually quite small percentages. Now along with some other changes, this means things like uh, health it's going to be much harder to heal yourself. You're going to be able to heal something like 5% of your health, uh, you know, every time you use a skill. But it might that might mean it takes your it takes you know a few seconds or even like uh, 30 seconds to heal yourself back up from half health to full health, depending on how you play your character. And that means if you're at 50% health, you need to seriously consider uh, how you can use those skills, how you can go about healing yourself. And that that's a pretty interesting prospect, I think. So changes like this mean that uh, things like smaller amounts of incoming damage, so uh, standing in a plagued pool, sure you can survive this current fight if you stand in that plagued pool. It doesn't represent an immediate threat to your character, but it does represent a long-term threat when your healing capabilities are limited much more than they are in the current state of Diablo 3. So you might stand in that plague pool now, you might leave that particular encounter with 50% life, then you have to go into the next encounter with 50% life and only limited healing resources. So it's going to be much harder then. You're going to have to be much more careful in that next fight. So these sorts of changes means that you'll have to uh, actively avoid damage over time effects if you want to, uh, over the long term, uh, avoid the amount of the huge amounts of incoming damage and you know keep that to a minimum so that you're able to more effectively heal yourself, keep yourself at full. You're going to have to play much better to keep your life at full. And if you, you will know that you're playing poorly or you're not set up well, your build doesn't quite cut it if uh, your your health is constantly you know dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. You're not able to mitigate or avoid that damage properly and uh, you're not able to heal it up in time because you're taking too much damage. So that's a pretty exciting prospect, but um, is it the correct route for action RPGs to go? Action RPGs, you know, are action. They're about action combat. And is this the correct route for action RPGs to take? Uh, I think it's personally going to be very exciting for me to play a Diablo 3 where health is much more meaningful. But I know not everyone agrees, and this sort of thing is definitely up to debate. I know a lot of people like to not have to back off when uh, they're in combat in, in action RPGs like Diablo 3. So it will be interesting to see. But I'm keen to hear what you guys think. What do you think is the correct way to approach the uh, health versus healing uh, sort of situation in different action RPG in action RPGs and RPGs in general? And uh, do you enjoy games where your health is much more meaningful and it's much you have to pay much more attention to your life? Do you, do you get more satisfaction out of those sorts of games over games where it's more about the action and you don't have to think about that too much? So, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to say. Hopefully you found this discussion video interesting. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.